You guys, your last comedian of the night, please welcome Pete Capella! Wow, I am not cool enough for that song. <laughs> How are y'all doing? Yeah. Yeah, these guys are awesome, huh? Yeah. How fucking great are these guys? You guys ready to laugh? Yeah? yeah? Like, like, but genu genuinely, are you ready to laugh? Yeah. Great. My brother was murdered five years ago. <laughs> that is a true story, and we are going there. Uh, my brother was murdered five years ago, which is like the most middle child thing of him to do. It's like, we get it, Anthony. You want attention. I told you, we were fucking going there, guys. Uh, and honestly, like, a murder aside, uh, gr growing up, he was, he was a middle child. He was like, we, in between four of us. Um, and he was uh, the most annoying, stereotypical little prick growing up. Um, and like, I remember like this one time we were at, I was at the dining room table and I was, uh, I was doing math homework. I was in middle school or something like that. I'm doing math homework. And, uh, and he kept running around the table. And every time he would run around the table, it hit me. And I was getting fucking furious and trying to stay calm because I'm an older brother. And eventually, I snapped and I took my pencil because I was doing math homework and I whipped it at him. And I looked at him and he looked at me and then we both looked down at this pencil sticking out of his leg like Talladega Nights, you know? <laughs> And we just both started screaming. Uh, so uh, what's crazy, uh, we're going back to the murder thing. Uh, what is crazy about uh, him being killed is he was killed in my parents' house, um, which is awful on so many levels, but mostly because he was 30 years old and living in my parents' house. And now, as a ghost, he will forever live in my parents' house. You know? Like... Casper, the annoying little kid, you know? Um, so uh, what's crazy uh, about the whole thing is, um, and it's, it's always just, uh, this is the first time I've ever told a large group of people that my brother was murdered, by the way. Uh, and what's weird about saying that is uh, we grew up in small town New Jersey where things like this don't happen, you know? So I, you know, came back home, obviously, from Los Angeles, and I was hoping to see, like, you know, police yellow tape and like CSI guys there who knew what the fuck they were doing. You know, I wanted to walk in and have the guy go, well, your brother may have been murdered, but you came from Los Angeles and I'm gonna win an Oscar in crime solving. Boom, boom, you know? Uh, but no, the first person on the scene to my brother's murder was my friend from high school who became a cop. <laughs> And he was the friend from high school who becomes a cop, you know? Uh, like, this is the guy who still unironically goes to uh, Evanescence concerts, you know? Oh, these guys are really good. No, these guys are great. Or, uh, like, he was the guy uh, when we were in high school that literally pulled the 69 mile marker out of the Garden State Parkway and shoved it in his car. Like, stole, because it said 69 on it. Uh, and uh, he was... He was, he was also, he's also the guy, like, when I text him about the murder, you know, he'll send me back Beavis and Butthead memes. It's like, I don't, I don't think you get what's actually happening here. Uh, and this is the crazy part. So I was in my car today, driving from work, uh, and rehearsing this whole bit in the car, and he fucking texted me out of the blue. <laughs> out of the blue, I swear to God, at, at, at today at 5.52 p.m., and he said, who would have thought a guy once dressed in a mouse suit to entertain kids, yeah, we worked at Chuck E. Cheese together, <laughs> is the boss responsible for all the cops and residents during a snowstorm in Middletown? This guy knows he sucks! <laughs> like, he texted me about it today, it's fucking crazy! Uh, so yeah, needless to say, uh, that murder is not being solved. It is a not solved murder, uh, yeah. I mean, honestly, it's okay. Like, I'm past it. I'm past it. Um, I'm, don't call me. Uh, think of what you have to. You know, you have to move on. You have to, you have to move on and, and then tell a bunch of people who don't know you about what this tragic thing in your life. Uh, the 
weirdest thing when thinking back on the whole situation. Yeah, I'm doing a full five minutes about my brother being dead. Isn't that great? <laughs> uh, the weirdest thing about the whole situation is uh, we went back, and right before we went back, a friend reached out to me and he said, hey, I just heard this thing on NPR about this uh, species of birds that uh, when one of them dies, all the birds gather together and they sing to celebrate the bird's life, which is incredible. I, like, I'm getting choked up thinking about it right now, you know? Uh, but I thought, well, we should do that for Anthony. So this guy who uh, served in <coughs> Afghanistan and Iraq and survived and came home and, 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 and only to be killed in his parents' home had his brother fly from Los Angeles just to get some stage time at his fucking funeral. <laughs> where we covered a James Taylor song. And everyone, and I, I thought to myself, I was like, how, how? Did this guy, this guy who has done these amazing things, and I'm up here on, on stage, we were on stage, my brother and I, and we were playing guitar and singing a James Taylor song. It was just, it was, it, it was insane to me. Um, all right, guys, last thing. <laughs> this morning, this morning, uh, I was walking the dog, and um, you ever get to that moment, uh, this isn't about a dead brother, I just didn't want to finish with a dead brother. <laughs> uh, you ever get to the moment where you are, uh, you, you're bending down to pick up your dog's shit, and you lock eyes with someone in a car? <laughs> Is that not the most degrading thing? So this morning, I was just in a bad mood, and I just looked up, and I looked at the guy in the car, Back up to my face and just went. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. That's my